The most common and simple component is the resistor. Its one and only function in an electrical circuit is to reduce current. Here we can observe two identical light bulbs powered by two identical batteries. One bulb is wired directly to the battery, while the other in series with a resistor. As we can see, the second bulb is dimmer. The reason is because the resistor steals some of the battery's energy. As a result, the voltage on lamp number 2 is lower, while the voltage on lamp number 1 equals 4 volts, which is battery's voltage. In electronics, this phenomenon is called voltage drop. So we can say that 0.5 volts are dropped on the resistor. By design, a resistor is just a piece of metal, the conductor. As opposed to regular wires, however, a resistor resists the flow of current, partly turning it into heat. So the most important property of this component is its resistance. The less metal a resistor contains, the higher the resistance. The higher the resistance, the lower the current in the circuit, and the higher the voltage drop across resistors terminals. Resistance is measured in ohms. This unit is named after the German physicist Georg Simon Ohm, who in fact discovered the relationship between current strength, voltage and resistance, today known as Ohm's law. The resistance is indicated on the body of the resistor by color code, which allows anyone to read the value no matter the orientation of the part on the board. The second very important property of a resistor is power rating. As you can see from our experiment, when connected in series with the resistor, a light bulb's intensity is reduced. But we all know that energy is neither created nor destroyed, which means that part of battery's energy is dissipated on the resistor as heat. At high current values, heating can be quite significant, so the resistor power rating is always chosen according to the load. As a rule, the higher the power rating, the larger the dimensions of the resistor. If you ignore the power rating requirements when building your circuit, your resistor may simply burn out and fail. And finally, there are fixed and variable resistors. A variable resistor is a device whose electric resistance value can be adjusted. Variable resistors are basically used in two situations. When one needs to adjust a value while fine-tuning a circuit, or if it's necessary to change a parameter when utilizing the device. A volume knob on your car radio or a guitar amplifier would be a typical example of a variable resistor.